Guys, and today this ain't no random video. This is actually a totally different video. Actually, guys, I'm starting some news on my channel too. So here's the first one. This is the news of the band of Chuck and Cheese of Ben. Five kids went missing. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why. I researched it up, found, um, found Wikipedia, and also plus also have search and searches up for over a month. Okay, so I probably have it. So let's go. Let's go. Okay, and uh, we're gonna have a talk with my friends right here. So okay, so um, yeah. What is up guys? So this will be a little bit of a different video, but it's going to be something pretty interesting. A few weeks ago, supposedly five kids went missing at a Chuck E. Cheese. There was a news article by USA Today posted on Twitter saying five kids have recently gone missing at a Chuck E. Cheese and parents reported weird smells. There was also another ad by Alternative Press saying that some of the animatronics, like the Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, like the Minnie Mouse, the Minnie Mouse, Mini Mouse, like the Chuck E. Cheese Mouse, was moving and talking to the employees and singing songs and talking to each other. It was really insane. So the question is, did five kids actually go missing at Chuck E. Cheese? And are the animatronics becoming very chatty? There was also some very interesting articles a long time ago, supposedly, about this one mass Chuck E. Cheese killer that was going in and doing weird things. Now, I'm not going to say specifically because I don't want this video to get taken down. And then he was arrested, but then let go, and then he did it again. And people were saying, was it the same person? There's tweets about it. There's also the tweets about the USA Today article. People are like freaking out about this. People are also saying that it's real life Five Nights at Freddy's because the animatronics at Chuck E. Cheese are, you know, similar to the Five Nights at Freddy's and Five Nights at Freddy's is a very weird game and maybe there's some sort of weird thing going on. Also, Chuck E. Cheese is a gaming place where kids can go play games and then all this is all of a sudden happening. It's very, very strange. And with how 2020 has been, you know, who knows? Maybe Chuck E. Cheese has got like a very malevolent side to him with his big nice cheese pizza that's actually a torture device. Chuck E. Cheese has also been in different weird conspiracies about like their pizza being reused and the pepperoni being a bit odd. So we're gonna go and actually visit a Chuck E. Cheese. This is not the one where supposedly five kids go went missing at. It's a different Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, so we're actually gonna go there and then see like through the windows or if anything weird's going on. A lot of Chuck E. Cheese's are actually closed because they filed for bankruptcy uh, around the time that the kids supposedly went missing. So we are gonna see exactly what's going on. This Chuck E. Cheese is open. Uh, there's another one that is closed right now. We're gonna go to two of them and then see exactly what's going on. So here we go. Okay, that was actually my friend on there. Okay, I was gonna go off him. You already said their pizza People, some people don't, uh, I ain't complaining about this, but some people has complained that in 2019, this 2021, but back in 2019, they have been saying that it looks like their pizza has been reused. And the pepperoni tastes a little odd, like, it tastes like pennies. It smells like pennies, like blood, like copper. And also, plus, they, their cheese was a little bit hard. It's a freaking rock. So, uh, I don't know if that's rotten cheese or they're just letting that cheese overcook, but people were saying that they think that the cheese is actually rotten, that they're putting on the pizza. The reason why it's hard. Do you know how in cheese, when you leave it out and it rots and it gets green and it gets kind of moldy and also plus it gets a little hard? That's what it was. It's stale. Hard, hard, hard. Butt kicking cheese. You're probably wondering, what, what do you think about butt kicking? I'm talking about. It is butt kicking hard. It is. That's what it is. You know how when someone kicks your butt and it's pretty hard? That's how hard it's butt kicking hard. Hold on, I'll show you no I'll show you a video I'll sign up. Right here's actually a video guys of the Antronic actually buy do you know how it said that the Antronics was even do you know how my friend actually said his name's called David Yeah, he was um his friend not, well not David I think it's someone else. It's called Oh my gosh. 
Okay, we'll try this again. His name is actually called Switzerland. Switzerland, that's a real name, I know. But, but, but he said that the Antronics was talking to the the police, chatting with the police, also trying to bite the police, or whatever. Right here's a part. Right here's a video of it, of it trying to bite a man. Watch. The microphone, microphone. Let's go back for a What's that? The bite? Right there. Right here's another video, guys. It won't let go. You guys really want to see a sketchy dang? Watch this. There's some sketchy for you. That is very, very sketchy. That is it. So apparently, Chuck E. Cheese is apparently haunted, and it's apparently no wonder during the pandemic, and everything. You already know that it's not all because of I me. Mean, it is because of that, but it ain't all because of the pandemic. It's also normally caused by the five missing children. Apparently, because apparently the uh, the man always said that the pepperonis are made. Um, the people has has been complaining that the pepperonis have been tasting a little funny. Maybe that's because of they put blood on that. Probably. And he's, if you haven't listened really closely, if you actually listen really good, actually he actually does say as well. That only uh, the peppers are obviously hard, and also they smell weird. So I'm about copper. So uh, copper smells like pennies. Pennies smell like blood. So they must they must have like uh, I've had the pepperonis, cooked it way too long, put blood on there. Also, plus if you actually look this up. On Google News, tells you that two kids has been found stabbed in the alleyway, apparently with a Chucky Cheese Chucky Cheese mascot suit weighing there on the back of the alley with a knife covered blood. This was in uh, San Auto, Texas. Apparently, yeah. Uh, so apparently, uh, the, the Chuck E. Cheese and John City is still open, but some of them are shut down during the pandemic and the five missing children. Apparently, uh, yeah. Apparently, let me show you something. You know this guy? Don't listen to him. He's actually saying that this is fake. Are you watching? You can see. But guess what? You think it's fake? Watch this. Hard to believe. Look at this. This was real. It's not fake. That man is lying to you guys. Whoever this man is. I don't know his name though, but. 
He is actually faking. He is actually telling a lie. Apparently, I looked up all on all the comments, and guess what happened? People, over 21 people has commented on his channel saying, You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. And only like, five people have been calling in that, You're right. 21 people saying, You're lying. So technically, there's more people. So technically, it proves that he is lying. It is real. It's not fake. Oh For the line crew and the go-getters, there's Granger. Supplies and solutions for every industry, plus 24-7 support. You always go away. A middle of video. Granger. For the ones who get it done. Well, community activists are calling for an end to violence tonight following a shooting outside a Chuck E. Cheese's restaurant filled with children. Good evening, I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Tim Callahan. It's an update mm -hmm. to a story that's been trending on our website. This might be the cause of the uh, five minutes of children. Alive in Southwest Bakersfield tonight with their message and the search that man dinks, guys, listen. Alicia. This man dinks. Tim, Let me pause this for a second. This man, that man uh, um, that says, oh, this is real, this is fake. He said that there's no uh, um, people getting hurt at this place. There is. Shooting is harming people. Playground in this shopping center on Ming Avenue. Toys R Us is just a couple doors down, and Chuck E. Cheese's is right here. But over the weekend, this it proves that he's a big old fat fibber. I was actually on my way to Chuck E. Cheese with my kids Saturday, but we ended up actually going to the movies. Shots fired just down the street from Valley Plaza Mall in the same complex as Toys R Us and right in front of Chuck E. Cheese. When I heard the first shot, it was, was kind of crazy. I think it was going to happen like in front of a place that's full of kids. Police say the shooting happened just before 7 o'clock Saturday night, a time when several kids were playing inside. Shooting up a place where there's kids, that's just not uncalled for. Shell casings and bullet holes were all that were left on scene, but police later discovered three victims being treated at local hospitals for gunshot wounds. Cedric Ng was arrested in connection with the shooting and is being held on $1 million bail. Police are still searching for two other suspects. They have been identified as Brent Pratt and Melton Smith. Committed that shooting out in front of Chuck E. Cheese. They should turn themselves in. The shooting was concerning for Isaiah Crompton, founder of Caught Up, an organization dedicated to preventing violence. Crompton says he was disturbed that someone would think to bring a gun near kids. We shouldn't tolerate that type of violence around our kids, parks, places where kids play. That's uncalled for. NAACP President Patrick Jackson had friends that were inside of Chuck E. Cheese during the shooting. He took to social media to express his disappointment. Our children have to be the focus point of how they're being raised in this community. And we can't allow anybody to dictate uh, where it's going to be safe because, of course, Chuck E. Cheese is a place where, you know, a kid can be a kid. Cedric Ng is due back in court tomorrow. As for the other two, they are still at large. However, police tell me that they are armed and dangerous. If you have any information, you should call Bakersfield Police. Also, Chuck E. Cheese's did issue a statement. I spoke with them, and they said that they are working with Bakersfield Police and that there's the safety of the, uh, the guest safety is their main concern. I'm live in Southwest Bakersfield, Alicia Batillo, 23 ABC. Okay. You guys heard that, right? Yeah. So apparently, there's big fat liars. So, well, she wasn't. He was in those castles. And what I'm saying is that that person that says, "Oh, this is real. This is fake." He's a big fat liar. Apparently, because he said in one of his videos, "I watch." Well, well, I watched it this one time, and you know what I said? He said this. Oh. So, um, is people actually getting hurt at Chuck E. Cheese? Is there actually been shooting? Is there actually been killing? No. There have been shooting. He's faker. Well, this is all for today. Goodbye, guys.